Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical which is based on Bernoulli's equation in compressible flow. So let's go to the video. Let's start with numerical. Certain mass of air passing through a horizontal main with a velocity of 380 meter per second. There is a pipe, we will call it as main pipe or only main and mass of air is passing through this pipe say for example in this direction with velocity of 380 meter per second. Here it is mentioned that it is horizontal it means that if we apply Bernoulli's equation then in that case datum head is going to be remain same at all the sections. At the section with corresponding pressure of 80 kN per meter square absolute and temperature 45 degree centigrade, there is a change in dia of main at a section and pressure at this section is 128 kN per meter square. It is clear that initially pressure is 80 after it is becoming 128. So definitely the change in dia is towards its reduction. So we will reduce the dia like this. Now here at this section 2, this is section 1, pressure is given to us, section 2 pressure is given to us as 128 kN per meter square absolute. Find the velocity of air current, velocity is to be calculated if flow is adiabatic. We know that this type of flow means heat is neither taken into the system nor taken outside the system. Take R as a 287 joules per kg per Kelvin. This value of R remains constant for all the problems in our syllabus. The value of R will be 287. If it is given to us then it's okay. If it is not given then we should assume it. And value of gamma or R it is called as it is equal to 1.4. So given data is P1 is equal to 80 kN per meter square, V1 equal to 380 meter per second. These values are given in our required units. T1 is equal to 45 degree centigrade. At section 2, P2 is given to us as 128 kN per meter square and the R that is V2 is to be calculated. So applying Bernoulli's equation, for compressible flows, we know there is a slight change in compressible and incompressible flows equation and that change is gamma upon gamma minus 1 this term into p1 upon rho 1 into g plus v1 square upon 2g plus z1 that is equal to gamma upon gamma minus 1 p2 upon rho 2g plus v2 square upon 2g plus z2. In our case pipe is horizontal it means that z1 equal to z2 so we will cancel them out same term on both side. As flow is adiabatic It means that we have to use the property of flow in case of adiabatic flows which is gamma upon gamma minus 1 p1 upon rho 1g 
plus v1 square upon 2g is equal to this gamma upon gamma minus 1 into p2 upon root 2g plus v2 square upon 2g so v1 square upon 2g we will take these two terms on one side of equation v1 square upon 2g minus v2 square upon 2g that is equal to gamma upon gamma minus 1 this term should be taken as a common term into p1 upon row 1 also common 1 minus p2 upon p1 into row 1 upon row 2 for adiabatic flow row 1 upon row 2 is equal to p1 upon p2 upon gamma i am using this property at this location as shown in figure this term is obtained by simplification by taking common terms as p1 upon row 1 so we will have final equation as if we put the value of row 1 upon row 2 as p1 upon p2 raised to power 1 upon gamma then in that case this term will have power as 1 upon gamma this term p2 upon p1 is already we can read write as p1 upon p2 to the power minus 1 after writing this in this fashion we will have the term as v1 square upon 2g minus v2 square upon 2g is equal to this whole thing in one bracket as will remain as it is gamma upon gamma minus 1 into p1 upon uh, row 1 in bracket 1 minus p2 upon p1 to the power gamma minus 1 upon gamma 1 upon gamma minus 1 so totally it will become gamma minus 1 upon gamma also we have already seen that p1 upon row 1 is nothing but the r into p1 so we will substitute this value over here we will have equation as r value is known to us which is 287 t1 value is known to us temperature is 45 degree plus 273 it will become in kelvin final answer it will become 91266 so from given data P2 upon P1 is equal to P2 is given to us as 128 P1 is given to us as 80 is equal to 1.6 so this value is calculated over here this value is calculated over here now we can substitute these values in equation so putting values in equation we have v1 is known to us as we will simplify it as v2 square minus 380 square upon 2 into 9.81 is equal to gamma value is 1.4 upon 1.4 minus 1 into rt value is 91266 in bracket 1 minus 
this P2 upon P1 is 1.6 to the power this is 1.4 minus 1 divided by 1.4 after simplification we will have value of V2 adds 229.84 meter per second in this equation we were not able to calculate densities at different sections so that we have omitted the term of densities this term of densities by replacing r and t values that we already know so this was the trick to solve this problem if all the values are not given to us it means that we have to use our some knowledge some properties of various types of flows and then that problem will get solved that's all thank you